Hello, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to use GeoGebra to uh, analyze linear regression model. Um, so go down to the link below, copy the link, uh, open the app, and um, go along with the lesson. This is an example uh, for this uh, topic. A random sample of 11 statistics students uh, produce the uh, following data uh, down here. X is the third exam score out of 80, and Y is the final exam score out of 200. So can you find the correlation coefficient of um, the two data set to see is there any relationship between the um, third exam and the final exam? Okay, and then from that, you find the equation of linear regression line and number three, that can you predict the final exam score of a random student um, if his or her score is 72? Okay, so um, we're going to do for this part right here. So we're going to use GeoGebra to make it easy to do right here. So you have the, um, the app, it looks like, like this, or you can go to a GeoGebra app, you can find this part here. So we don't use um, the middle screen right here, so I'm going to remove it. So it have more room for us to do something later and move this one smaller. Okay. So first thing you find the correlation, so if you do by hand, it would be crazy. It take you days to do this one right here. But we have this app here, very easy to use. So all you have to do is you highlight it here. You highlight from number two because where the data is, Number one have X and Y get letter, so you cannot analyze the letter in here. We could do the part right here. So they say they have 11 data, 11 students. So you go down to number 12 because number one is for the letter already. Okay. And then you click on this symbol right here. It will have the drop down menu. You're going to do two variable regression analysis. Yeah. And then you see the um, scatter plot on this part right here. Okay, so if you click on this symbol right here, it will show the data on the side right here. If you think that, uh, okay, in this model, I have an outlier like this one right here, kind of up the blue. So I try to say what uh, point this one is about like 65 and then 170 something. So I try to locate it, maybe this one right here. You uncheck this, those four will disappear, right? And you put it back. They go back there so you can analyze that part. Now, we need to find a regression line, right? So you're going to click on this symbol right here. This symbol. Yes. So it's going to show you all the data you have right here. The mean of the, all the X uh, value, the mean of all the Y value, standard deviation of X value, standard deviation of the Y value, and these here are the, where you find the um, uh, correlation coefficient. So the answer for number one right here, that would be R would be equal to 0 0.6631, right? So this one mean that mean the, the, they have the two data X and Y that have some relationship, right? It's showing in this way and look like uh, it's going to be it be positive and it's strong, not that strong, but it has something. So um, we can make conclusion for that part. Yeah. And then number two, they ask you find the equation of linear regression lines. So again, if you compute it by hand, it takes a long time. Right. And it's kind of tedious to do. So we're going to have the machine do it for us. So down here, you're going to click on linear right here. And then see, you see the line right here. So this is the kind of um, the approximate, uh, approximation of the equation line for, um, in, of the linear line for this model. Uh, so you have in there. And then you see right here, this is what you copy for your number two. So y equal to, so number two, so you have um, the equation um, right here as would be, um, y equal to 4.83x and then minus 
uh, 51. So they route to two decimal place for you. So if you want more, then you can go to change to, to the um, the routing. Okay. So this one is you this equation right here. I can predict what the next score would be if I know the value of x. So for example, I use this model for my next class. And then I will see if the student um, have a 72, is that what they said right here? Yeah, if the student score 72 on the exam, if this model correct, then I can predict the score for a final exam for that student, right? So therefore, and number three, in order to do that, so all you have to do here, you put the value of the third exam, which you x. So that would be 72, you enter in here, and they compute it for you. So you can answer, okay, his or her um, final exam score will be 174.0.59. Or if you round it, it's going to be around 1.174. Uh, uh, so that's what, how you do it right there. So number three, so you're going to have here, that means x equal to uh, 72. So this one, I use this model right here. I can predict that his or her score, her final exam score, which is y would be equal to 174.059. So right there. And then you say, okay, somewhere around that. If my model is correct. So uh, use this app. You can do for all the equation, uh, all the uh, analysis, um, apply all the value for the linear regression model. <clears throat>